Hello everybody, what's up? It's Chef Burrito here. And so today we are making French toast hot chocolate. Now I know it sounds weird, but pretty much what it is, it's just hot chocolate with all the ingredients from French toast. So let's get into it. So first, at our base, chocolate milk or milk with hot chocolate powder. I always prefer to take chocolate milk over anything because it's creamiest and it tastes better and it's not it doesn't have a bunch of clumps in it and so after you've added your chocolate milk you want to add just a tiny bit of regular milk now you don't want to add too much but you already got your chocolate milk in there but that milk is pretty much just there for creaminess and we don't want to use cream because that's drawing from a normal recipe of hot chocolate. So now once you've mixed both the milks together, you want to mix them together and as always we want to start off our hot, our hot chocolate by having it on uh, a low heat of four so the number four, just low heat or four, whatever you want. I guess four would be it's either medium or medium low, I don't know. So once you have it all mixed up you want to add Normally I wouldn't add this, but it's part of the recipe, so you want to add just a little bit of salt, or else it's going to be really nasty. So just add a tiny bit of salt. Maybe a tiny bit more. Yeah, just a little bit of salt. And then some cinnamon. Just a sprinkle of cinnamon in there. Don't want to add too much. This There's still quite a few things. And then... Not to make. So once you've added all that, you are gonna want to mix up all of your ingredients that you just added. So mix them up. And once you see that they're just not all the way mixed, but mostly mixed. Turn it up to a 7, then continue to mix until you start to see it get hot. So we're just going to mix it. Uh, let's talk about some, um, what's your guys' favorite toppings on pizza? Leave them in the comments below. And what are your views on pineapple on pizza? Are you one of those people who think it's disgusting? or? Do you think that it's good? Now, me personally, I think pineapple on pizza is good, but quite a vast majority of people believe that pineapple on pizza is disgusting, so, yeah, that's, that's a thing. So continue to mix, doesn't matter what direction you mix, some recipes, well, some recipes not for hot chocolate, but some recipes require you to a certain way, don't need to do that ever, because that's just weird to do that on hot chocolate. You're just stirring in liquids, you're not trying to get any sort of chemical reaction or anything like that going. And then, so once it's basically mixed, mixed, you might have a little bit of milk still in there. Once you start to see it steam and get hot, you want to add a little bit of vanilla extract. Don't add too much because this stuff is very very potent that should be good now continue to mix until everything is mixed in and it has reached your preferred heat so I'm just, I'm just gonna keep mixing until thoroughly mixed there's someone's calling me right now but I'm not gonna answer it because guess what I'm making a video wait to talk until is that over yeah okay so just want to continue to mix until everything is thoroughly mixed just about got to that point um what's your guys favorite flavor of ice cream mine's probably either oreo or strawberry now this is stupid 
like I'm just talking about stupid stuff. But you gotta talk about something or else your YouTube video is gonna be horrible. Because people do not come to watch your videos just to see you stir over a pot for a few minutes. Ooh, that smelled nice. And then, if you believe that your hot chocolate needs a little bit more of anything, once it's gotten to this point and everything's all mixed up now, that would be the time to add anything in. I believe that it got it pretty good. Uh, maybe I put in a little bit less vanilla than I should have. So maybe, so maybe, yeah, just, maybe put a tiny bit more vanilla than you think you need, because... I don't think this is going to be very vanilla-y. Now everything's all mixed up. Uh, if you... I guess... You can take it off the heat once it's all mixed up and ready to go. Then pour it into your cup. And then... Ooh! It's looking good. And just like any good cup of hot chocolate should... Second. Give it a nice head of whipped cream. I mean, this is for any hot chocolate, but when you think about it, they put whipped cream on lots of French toast. Ooh, guess I'm out of whipped cream. Oh, yeah, definitely out of whipped cream. That, that's disgusting. Okay, make sure that you actually have whipped cream before pouring it. Or else you will end up with a big goop of nasty cream in the hot shop. So thank you guys all for watching. Um, please make sure to subscribe, like this video, uh, tell your friends about it. Because right now I probably have like two subscribers because this is only my second video. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you guys enjoy your hot chocolate. S see ya and have a good day.